Hello gorgeous! Today we're talking about feminine communication and how to talk like a lady. So one of the first things that you need to know in how to talk like a lady is that there is no one size all formula. Every single person, every single moment, every single situation will require you to be really present and read the energy of the moment, of the person in front of you and of the situation to know how you can best speak in that moment. Sometimes your verbal communication will be required. You know, they say only 7% of our all communication is verbal. And sometimes all that will be required of you will be your energetic uh, communication. So how do you do this? Know that this is going to take retraining and unlearning of a lot of old habits. You're going to have to stop jumping in, performing, auditioning, being really chatty, and train yourself to get really present and read what the situation requires of you. You have to remember that every single person that's speaking to you or listening to you is in their own sort of trance. They've got some chatter going on. They've got some situations going on. They have their own wounds. They have their own traumas. And when you're just trying to get heard and the person in front of you is just trying to get heard, no one's actually listening and no one's feeling heard. So when you learn to stop, get really, really present and read the person in front of you and read the moment, you will know guided deeply from your intuition, whether now is a moment to speak up or is now a moment to deeply listen and do and let your energy do your talking. And the way that I've used this in my, my marriage, my parenting, my coaching business, in every single interaction is become really aware that the person in front of me is having their own story they may be tired, they may not have slept well, they may have a limiting belief about what they're saying, they may have trouble um, communicating, enforcing boundaries, whatever it is. They're bringing all of that to this present moment. And if I don't stop and read that energy and I just want to be heard, then they're not going to be in a space to listen to me and I'm not in a space to listen to them and there's not very much communication happening. It's all kind of um, two nervous systems attacking each other. That's not really high value, you know, high end, ladylike communication. So key takeaway here is know that not all communication will require the same stuff. A lot of time when women come to feminine energy work, they think, oh, I just have to speak in feeling sentences now, or I just have to be really quiet. Well, that's not appropriate for every situation. If you are in your ego, in your wounds, in your trauma, all the feeling sentences in the planet are not going to help you get heard because the other person can read your energy is off, you're not in alignment, you're performing, you're auditioning, you're trying to control them, you're trying to manipulate them, and that's not really gonna get heard. But if you come into the moment saying, well, what does this present moment require of me? You will know exactly what to do. So let me share with you some everyday interactions. So sometimes this means that when, I'm, when my husband is speaking to me, that I read his energy and I realize that he really just needs to vent, that he just needs to talk. And I listen very patiently and intently. Now, what if he says something that I don't agree with? I'm going to wait patiently until he's done and I will say something like, wow, thank you for sharing that. That must have been really hard for you to share your true feelings. My version of the story, how I experienced this was da 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 And by saying my version of the story or how I experienced this, I'm priming both of us to realize that we each have our own versions of every story. And this is as much for him as it is for me, because every time I say that, I'm teaching myself, retraining myself, reprogramming myself to realize that we are all functioning from story and that we're all gonna have our versions of it. There's the truth, there's your version, there's the other person's version, and it's all just our own perceptions. 
So we can honor that person's perception. We don't have to agree with it. And then we can share our perception of it without any argument, without any fighting, without trying to convince the other person to see our side. And what's happened through these communications is my husband and I have developed a very strong emotional safety between us, a strong level of intimacy, a strong level of trust. We weren't always like this. God knows we've had our years of uh, really bad communication skills, but we've developed this trust over time. And this is really helpful to know each other's perception. This helps us get to know each other. And if there is anything that we need to clarify, we're able to do this. You know, the end of the conversation may be something like, I'm so sorry, I didn't realize that that's how you were receiving that moment or that conversation that I was having with you. That was not my intention. Um, and then I may even say something like, isn't that funny how two people can perceive the same thing completely differently? And my husband might agree with that and say, that is nuts, but yes, it's all about perception. So of course we didn't start off this way. You guys know my story. We've had to really work on our relationship to get to this point, but start reframing yourself, reprogramming yourself, rewiring yourself to get really present. And this will require of you to do the thing that you find most uncomfortable to do. So for some people, for what I find in my coaching practice is some students are really great listeners, but they have trouble speaking up. So what's most uncomfortable for them is to share their start side, to jump in, to offer their version of the story. For other clients and students, they are always talking over people, always trying to convince people. And so what's most uncomfortable for them is to be quiet and actually listen. Not listen with the, I hope you'll shut up so I can say my point, but listen really to understand what the other person is experiencing in that moment. And this is the key. Whatever is the most uncomfortable thing for you that needs to be developed in you, it's like a muscle that needs to be trained. Do that. Know that you're going to mess up because that's something that you're not trained to do yet. Be really gentle with yourself. Be really patient with yourself. If you end up interrupting someone, if you're in the in the category B where you talk over people, apologize and be quiet and let them continue. If you're in the category of never speaking up, then you know prime people by letting them say, you know, when they're talking, let them know I want to really listen how you experience this, and then I would like a moment to also share my experience. That will be uncomfortable because you're not used to speaking up, but learn to. Do the, the things that are most uncomfortable for you so that you can develop a full range of feminine communication skills and communication skills in general, feminine or not, so that you're not in this mode of being stuck in one thing that you can only speak in feeling sentences or you can never speak up. There's You always have to do one thing or another, right? So go wherever is the most uncomfort because that's where you're going to stretch and expand. Be really, really gentle and patient with yourself. You're going to reprogram yourself slowly and allow there to be a grace period. When you change something in your behavior, your partner and everyone else is not going to immediately know what to do. But over time, I promise you that they will um, start up leveling with you if they're meant to be on this journey with you they're going to also start up leveling but give them a grace period of about 90 days and to learn this new mode of uh, up leveled communication that you were um, experiencing and experimenting with so if you found this helpful join me for the full free training on the universeguru.com it's called 5D Femininity, and we're going to talk about how to really activate all different ranges and flavors of your beautiful feminine range so that you can come prepared in every moment, present, and ready to deliver what that moment requires of you versus having a set of rules and guidelines that you have to follow and that may not be uh, fitting for that moment. So I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.